Good morning, everybody. It is 728 right now. Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here. And how many times, Jackie, we talked about the great theater that's being presented here in central Iowa. We have another example of it right now. Absolutely. Great things are always happening, and we love to salute to wonderful productions that are taking place, including one that's going into previews tonight because it's opening this weekend with Ankeny Community Theater. And they have a production called Mom's Gift, and we want to meet a couple of the players that are involved with that. Ali Kerwin and Ethan Saltz, thank you so much for being here thank today. You. Good morning. Okay, so this is a play. Uh, it's called Mom's Gift. Yeah. Tell us all about it. So um, Mom's Gift kind of centers around this family. Uh, but Mom has been dead for about a year now, and the older daughter, Kat, um, who I play, has come back to see the family for the first time since the funeral, and now she's seeing her mother. Oh, really? Yes, who is a ghost, and she says she needs to complete a mission, but she doesn't know what the mission is, and she needs Kat's help to do it. All right. And... Mayhem ensues. <laughs> <laughs> First I'm of glad, all, that you could see a ghost, it'd be mayhem. Yeah. Mayhem. It's a <laughs> snowball effect. <laughs> I, I'm glad you said that because it, it, from how you're describing it, it, it sounds more like a drama or a very serious piece, but I bet this has more of a comedy ring to it. Yes. yes. It's definitely a, a comedy with a heart is okay. kind of the description because it's really funny it's really well written but you know it's still mom is dead and everybody's kind of handling that as you're going through the story absolutely so we kind of have a, an angel that needs to get her wings but we don't she doesn't know exactly what that's going to take to make that mission happen uh, but she's coming back to it looks like a, a cast of characters and <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh is that the grandma that's <laughs> <laughs> yes oh, really? yep. okay. Okay. i get the pleasure to be hit on that. <laughs> so so ethan Good. you play kevin right yes okay and the, that grandma <laughs> is you know hot for your form huh? yes okay yeah oh, i used i used to be a uh, success i used to be a jock in high school, and I've turned into a successful businessman. Uh oh. My muscles are apparently a huge thing to this grandma. <laughs> Why That's not? an interesting, <laughs> right, interesting set of situations here. Yep. But it also for, for some uh, very good comic relief, too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All of my entrances, they, <laughs> they start with this grandma. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Uh, so you're kind of saying the, the audience is kind of going on a journey with this mom as she's trying to find what her next path in life is or mission is so yeah. that she can get her wings or ascend where she would like to go next, yeah, yeah. yeah so to speak. So uh, go on this journey with you guys. Uh, why did you want to be a part of this production? So I read the script, um, honestly, this time last year, um, and immediately I loved Kat. I was so desperate to be able to play her. Um, I think she's so interesting and she's so smart um, and bizarre. And so I was just thrilled to be able to be cast in this. And, you know, everybody has these weird family things where you, you want to kind of be yourself and explore the world, but you want your family to accept you and love you and feel like you're a part of something. And sometimes that's more difficult than other times. And mm -hmm. to kind of be able to go on that journey of communication and acceptance um, is, I think, really powerful. Absolutely, something we can all kind of relate to yes. with the quirkies, uh, quirkiness that we can find in our own family. Yeah. Right, now, yeah. and part of the story is that you are ordered to, to come back and, and yes. spend some time, and yeah. I want to hear about that part of the story. Yes, so um, I sort of uh, shove a cop, <laughs> and uh, they say that they'll, they'll drop the charges if I, I go to anger management therapy, and my therapist has said that I have to go spend time with my dad. And um, that is why I, I am at the house to begin with. I'm forced to be at my father's birthday party. So that just adds another layer. Yes. Yep. <laughs> on top of everything already. And yeah. then you're seeing ghosts. So you yes. can only imagine what's going to happen <laughs> there. Uh, remind us, Ankeny Community Theater, where is this located? How can we come see this production? So we are in Ankeny. Um, yes. We are right across the street from um, John Deere down there on Southwest 3rd. OK. Um, we are a very intimate space. We seat around. 90 individuals. Oh, really? yeah. Yes. Okay. So you're really kind of down there in the action mm -hmm. for the show. And I think it leads to some really fun interactions with the audience and kind of feeling Absolutely. a part of the show. So Ethan, what's your what's your favorite part of the show? To be honest, my favorite part of the show is all of my entrances. I don't want to <laughs> sound like really like <laughs> that kind of guy, mm -hmm. but I just think that all of my entrances, they I always turn back to the door and I talk about the grandma's thong or stimulus package. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just think that it's going to be a hilarious part for the show 
especially after some deep stuff that has gone on. It's going to be some right. really huge comic. The comic relief, the comic uh, relief coming, yeah. coming in and out through mm -hmm. the scenes. Yeah. Uh, who should be coming to see this show? Who is this perfect for? Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the content is incredibly relatable to, to most people and you know, kids who are trying to kind of find their way and parents who already have or are maybe still trying to figure it out. I think it gives a lot for families to talk about. Um, yeah, you think that will happen after the, the play is over and, and you get done on the way home, people will be discussing what I they just got done so, saying. Yeah. It's a very modern show. There's no like specific date that this play is set. So everything is like really up to date with language and like the scenery, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. all modern. Right. And how yeah. long have you been working on the the whole program? Oh gosh, since the beginning of August. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Something yeah. Like that. It's, <laughs> time just flies. But a lot of time. Yeah. Time flies. Which means they're ready to go. So yeah, previews oh, yeah. tonight uh, officially yeah. open up on Friday. Yes. How can we get tickets? Um, you can come to our website, AnkenyCommunityTheater.com, spelled theater R E, or go to Midwest Ticks. We run this weekend and then next weekend, September 27th through October 6th. Okay. Um, 7.30 on Friday, Saturday, and Thursday, and 2 o'clock on Sunday for our matinees. All right. Sounds like you Wonderful. guys are going to have a lot of fun. Looking forward to your, your uh, kickoff a little bit later on tonight. Oh, so Oh, excited. my gosh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ready for that audience so you can yes. really, truly really enjoy what this uh, comedy of riches is all about. Absolutely. So if you have some fun family members, chances are you're going to relate to Mom's Gift opening up this weekend at Ankeny Community Theater. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. being here with us Thank today. You. Congratulations. You're watching Iowa Live as we continue to celebrate and support great things that are happening.